section 5.1, calculus AB, page 4. All right, we are going to find the area underneath y equals x squared for x between 0 and 2 using 4 rectangles and r ram. Same function as on page 3. So again, we're going to start off by sketching a graph. y equals x squared. And still on a domain for x between 0 and 2. There's 2 here. Still 4 rectangles. So we can divide this up. And again, if you want to shade the area that we need to find, This area here. And as last time, just like before, when we have the four sections, the four rectangles, we're going to take those dividing lines and we're going to line those up. Let's list these points again so you can see them. One half, one fourth. 1, 1, 3 halves, 9 fourths, and 2, 4. All right, our sections still first section, second, third, and fourth. But this time, when we draw our rectangles, we want to use our RAM, which is right side heights. So if we look at this fourth section, the right side is this side that comes off of the two. That determines the height of the fourth rectangle. The third section, the right side of the third section where that hits the function, that determines the height of the third rectangle. Right hand side of the second section determines the height of the second rectangle and first is here. Clearly now, can you see when we'll add up the areas of these rectangles, that this estimate will be an overestimate because we're taking all of these areas into play which aren't actually in the shaded area. Let's estimate this area. The width of the first rectangle, one half times the height of the first rectangle is 1 fourth plus height of the second rectangle is 1 half times the height of the second rectangle right side where it hits the function that's 1 plus third rectangle half wide times the height of the third where the right side hits that's 9 fourths and that last rectangle, one half wide times the height is four. When we multiply all these pieces out, we'll have one eighth plus one half plus nine eighths plus a two. All right, one eighth and nine eighths is ten eighths, which is five fourths plus one half plus two. We did this last time, uh, five fourths plus a half, that's uh, one and three quarters. One and three quarters plus a two is three and three quarters. Which you may write as 15 fourths or 3.75, whichever one makes you happiest. And we definitely see this is an overestimate of the actual area. All right. Okay, one thing I want you to notice before we do this third one. See this half, this common width? that's in all of them, 
all of the areas of the rectangles, could I have just factored that half out and written that half once and then added all the heights? Yeah, we can. Keep that in mind because we're going to do that on the next one. So, um, same function, y equals x squared for x between 0 and 2, same domain, same four rectangles, but this time MRAM. So, let's sketch a graph. y equals x squared this time I'm going to make it just a tad bigger to spread things out not much more but a little bit here's two one one half three halves This area just like LRAM and RAM we're going to put these dividing lines for these sections going up vertical Now, uh, let's number these sections. First, second, third, fourth. All right, now, LRAM used left-hand heights, RAM used right-hand heights, MRAM uses midpoint heights. So, what we need to do is we need to find the midpoint of each section and then take that up to where it hits the function and that will be the height. So what's halfway between zero and a half is one fourth. And where one fourth goes up and hits the function, that's the height of that first rectangle. Halfway between a half and one is at three fourths. Take that three fourths up to where it hits the function that will be the height that's used for the second rectangle. Halfway between one and one and a half, that's five fourths or one and a quarter. Take that up to where it hits the function. And that's the height of the second rect or excuse me, third rectangle. And the last one, Seven fourths, where that hits the function, and right there. There's your rectangles using these midpoint heights. Alrighty then, let's find this area. Area is approximately equal to, all right, as I said earlier, we had this common width, half, that was in each one. So this time, let's pull that half out, and then we'll just list all the heights. Because then distributing that half through would be finding the area of all of them. So one half. Now we need the height of this first rectangle. Well, that height is by where one fourth hits the function, which is where one fourth is squared. Plus, second rectangle's height is where x equals 3 fourths is going to hit the function. So that's 3 fourths squared. Third rectangle, height is 5 fourths squared. And fourth rectangle, 7 fourths squared. When we clean this up, one half inside of here will have one sixteenth plus nine sixteenths plus twenty five sixteenths plus um, forty nine sixteenths. When we go ahead and add these up, 
this 1 16th and 49 sixteenths, that's 50 sixteenths, plus 9 and 25 is 34. So 50 and 34 is 84 sixteenths. And we could cancel out here or cross cancel. 2 goes into 84, 42 times. And we'll have 42 over 16, which we can divide out by 2, which is 21 eighths. There's an approximate area. And if we change that back to a mixed number, that is going to be. Um, two and five eighths. And if you'll notice, two and five eighths is between three and three fourths from the RAM and uh, one and three quarters for the LRAM. Two and five eighths is somewhere in between. So a couple of things to notice with the MRAM. Overestimate or underestimate? It's hard to tell because this area right here on this one, we took some extra, but then we missed some. Right here, we took some extra, but then we missed some. Took some extra, missed some. Took some extra, missed some. So MRAM is, the of RAM and LRAM, MRAM is a better estimate. Harder to do, but better estimate. than LRAM or RAM. Okay, a couple of things here I want to make sure you understand. The last three examples were all using the same function, y equals x squared. We just estimated the area under the curve in three different ways. When you are given a different function, the heights of the rectangles will be calculated using that function, not just by squaring the x value. So if I had given you, say, y equals tangent x, then you would, buy, you would find the height of each rectangle by doing tangent of whatever the corresponding x coordinate was for the left side, right side, or midpoint. Thank you very much. If you've not yet done your homework for this section, please go do so right now. Thank you.